we are sufficient. We we think that we we can start with the meeting. Most most are there. Yes, I'm here, Chairperson. Yeah, just round up other members of Parliament who have not yet locked in, so that uh, they do so, please. Noted, Chairperson. Yes, with that, let us start with the meeting. Uh, my computer is sometimes failing me, but I'll try my best to ensure that it is sorted out. Uh, within two minutes, we're starting with the meeting.
where there are issues that border on fraud, maladministration, corruption, and allegations, and, and all of this must be investigated in, in one way or the other. But it doesn't end there. The, 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 the provision of that, of that law also indicate that once such a decision has been taken, uh, the MEC must accordingly inform the, the National Council of Provinces about that, and that is obligatory. Uh, well, the MEC can also inform other players like the, by like the minister, but they've got to inform uh, accordingly inform the, the National Council of Provinces. And, and once that is in process, once the, the investigations are concluded, whether these are forensic investigations or whatever form of investigation, uh, the NCOP must be uh, accordingly informed through the tabling of the reports uh, to the NCOP, as well as to the provincial legislature. That's what the the, the provisions of section 106 uh, stipulates in this particular instance. With those, let us start with the meeting. Uh, we are fresh from holding uh, a very successful uh, local government elections uh, just over two weeks ago. The people of this country have spoken, they have chosen uh, the parties of their choices. They have chosen councillors of their choices. Let's hope that this time around, our councillors will do everything uh, within their power to turn the tables around, to make the whole system of local government work. Uh, and, and that can only be possible when bodies such as this committee and other bodies uh, exercise their oversight functions optimally uh, so that uh, we are holding them accountable of their own actions and where wrongdoing or deviation happens, we make the necessary recommendations about what needs to be done. And where successes are happening, we highlight that to showcase that uh, there are those men and women out there who are committed to make sure that they serve their people and that they accomplish the developmental objectives of, of local government. With those words, as I said, all of you are welcomed. Uh, good afternoon, Honorable MEC of COCTA. Afternoon, Chairperson. Are me... you okay? Dear? Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay, uh, Chairperson. We're looking May forward I to switch a off good my day. May I switch off my video, Chair, because of the weather around in the spread is not good. It might ha affect the 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 the, yes. the, 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 the oh, yes, I will not be audible enough. Okay. Yes, it's okay. What we are going to allow you, I can see that we have about seven municipalities, Dr. Pixley, Kaisaka Seme, Govan Becky, Le Poi, Dr. J.S. Moroka, the Palisade, Nkomazi, Emma Lacheni, and Bushburg Ridge local municipalities. There are about eight municipalities. We, in the interest of facilitating a a good presentation will give you between 40 minutes or so to, to, to give us that presentation about this, those municipalities, and we'll take it from there and see how it goes. Uh, without further ado, over to you, Honorable Ed. Uh, take us through, and in the process, you can highlight on how you, you, you want these presentations to be facilitated. Thank you, and over to you. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Let me greet you, uh, Chairperson of the Select Committee on Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Honorable TSC Duduvu, and also to greet the honorable members of the Select Committee from different uh, provinces.
that have logged in. I will not mention uh, uh, them by name, uh, Chaperson. Um, Chaperson, I will, I will um, go um, point by point as indicated because uh, there are municipalities that um, uh, we have not yet uh, 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 received uh, the feedback, but however, we have received the, feed, the feedback like uh, 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 um, before the, the, we were going to, to election on the first. So as I have also attached the, 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 the attachment, the appendix there that are, are detailed, those uh, municipalities are not indicated there, but I will give just the, the synopsis of, 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 the, of, of, the, of the report. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Let me quickly go to the, 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 the page that is talking about the peoples. Will you please select that uh, um, uh, page two? Yes, slide number two, Chairperson. The peoples uh, 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 of this uh, uh, presentation is to request the National Council of Provinces to note the progress made. Uh, in interventions in Ligua, Dr. Pixliga Isaka Seme, Gavin Mbegi, Dr. J.S. Moroka, Dipaliseng Emalathlene and Bushback Ridge local municipalities in terms of section 1061, subsection 1B of the Local Government Municipal Systems Act of uh, 2000. Uh, the background, Chairperson, and introduction on the next page, um, is slide number four. Chairperson, there is currently no provincial intervention in any a, 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 a municipality in the province. The only intervention currently under implementation is a national intervention in Ligua in terms of section 159, subsection 7 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. The Ligua municipality, uh, the municipal council was dissolved and an administrator, Mr. Johan Metla, was appointed on the 28th of May 2021. The department Recording conducted stopped. investigations in terms of uh, section 106, subsection 1B of the Local Government Municipal Systems Act uh, 2000 in the following municipalities Lekwa in July 2018, Dr. J.S. Moroka on March 2020. Dr. Pixliga Isaka Seme, June 2020, and Gavin Beggy in June 2020. The reports and the findings were handed over to the municipalities for them to develop action plans and implement the findings as follows. Ligua on the 8th of July, 2020, and Dr. J.S. Moroka, Dr. Pixliga Isaka Seme, and Gavin Beggy on the 6th of October, 2020. The department further provided support to the municipalities to develop action plans to respond to the investigation reports. Uh, all, the, all the above mentioned municipalities submitted their action Recording plans in progress. that were approved by the respective councils. The department has also instituted section 106 investigation in the Baliseng, Ngomazi, Emalathlene and Bushback Ridge local uh, municipality. The investigations have been uh, completed in the Baliseng local municipality on the 16th of September 2021, at Ngomazi local municipality on the 1st of October 2021, and at Emalathlene local municipality on the 12th of November uh, 2021. Uh, investigations are still ongoing in Bushback Ridge local municipality, and the, in, in, in the investigation reports for Dipaliseng local municipality, Nkomazi local municipality, and Emalathlin local municipality have not yet been tabled to the respective councils. They will be tabled to the new councils, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Let me quickly go to the next slide, Chairperson. Uh, that is uh, the analysis in terms of Dr. Pixliga Isaka Seme, local municipality. In that slide, uh, Chairperson, the municipality has made progress in addressing the findings of the Section 106 investigation report. A number of short-term solutions 
have been addressed, uh, Chairperson, and the municipality has instituted consequence management against officials currently in the employ of the municipality who have been implicated in allegations of wrongdoing. The municipal manager have been suspended and is undergoing disciplinary processes and the PMU manager is also on suspension and undergoing disciplinary processes. The municipality has not uh, taken any action against former employees who have left the institution, but are implicated in allegations of wrongdoing. Uh, 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 the municipality must report uh, cases of fraud and corruption to the law enforcement agencies. And the municipality has uh, resolved um, five of the findings uh, where eight are in progress and one has not yet uh, uh, been addressed. And the findings made against the sector departments have not been addressed by the respective uh, departments. The detailed information, uh, Honorable Chairperson, it's on the attachment that uh, I, I have also uh, provided that are starting um, on page uh, 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 um, uh, let me check quickly check the 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 the, the, the slide where uh, uh, the detailed uh, 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 report uh, the annex just uh, are starting it's a uh, uh, starting on page uh, 16 going forward it's detailed in terms of, of of what is it that have happened in terms of the action plan of uh, of, of, of of this municipality chairperson let me now go and present to the analysis of Governor Begi local municipality. Yes, uh, the municipality has made uh, a progress. We are in Governor Begi. Will you please go back? Yes, Governor Begi, yes. Thank you very much. The municipality has made progress in addressing some of the findings. There are still some findings that the municipality has not uh, made any progress on. Only two findings, Chaperson, have been resolved. One, by the resignation of the CFO, six are in progress, and two have not uh, been addressed. The municipality has initiated disciplinary processes against implicated officials. The municipality must also take action against former officials and councillors who are implicated in wrongdoing but have left the institution. The action being taken against service providers implicated in wrongdoing is, uh, is very lackluster, uh, 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 um, on the on the on the on the annex charts, it it in, it gives the information uh, uh, on, in this regard, Chaperson. The municipality has reported cases of fraud and corruption to the Hawks, and these are being investigated. Uh, 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 let me now quickly go to Ligua local municipality in terms of the analysis. The municipality, uh, Honorable Chairperson, has made progress in addressing some of the findings. However, there are some findings that a uh, municipality has not uh, addressed. Four of the findings have been resolved by the municipality. Five are in progress and they have not uh, processed two of the findings. The administration has committed himself to ensuring the implementation of the Section 106 investigation report and law enforcement agents are investigating the allegations of impropriety in the, in the, in the municipality. Uh, Honorable MEC. Chairperson. You've dealt with the third municipality. Yes, Chair. And let me tell you my observation which is a serious concern. In yes, all sir. respect, you're saying uh, these are the findings, we are addressing these findings. Uh, the matters are before the law enforcement agencies. They are before this particular committee. Uh, how many people were suspended and all of that's what you are doing. This meeting is recorded live on television and South Africans would want to know in each instance, what was the allegation about? And this is the third municipality, you're not telling us that the allegation was about 
the stealing of money was about this kind of financial misconduct. It involves housing, it involves all, and this were the, the amounts which were involved in the process, and that in itself warranted us to institute an investigation. And there's a third municipality, and I try to follow you quite properly, but you are not saying anything about telling us the nature of the of of, of the allegations that uh, that were in place at that time, and that is my concern. And I'm sure this is a concern of members of committee. They want to know what was this allegation all about. What what does it entails? And and throughout, you are not saying that. And I'm sure you agree with me. If you can just try to address that as well in your presentation, that will really really help us. Thank you very much. Okay. No, thank you very much, uh, uh, Chairperson. It means that um, I will request the. The, the, the person who's uh, flagging the, the, the report just to go to the to the annexures because the annexures are the ones that are that are, are giving the detailed report. I may go back, uh, Chairperson, if you if you allow me to do that, I will request a, a I will request a, 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 the, 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 the person who is uh, flagging the, the report on the screen to go on page 17. It means that I will go back to Pixliga Isakaseme so that I can present each case, Chaperson, if you allow me. Yes, yes this slide number 17 in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the screen. Yes, Chaperson. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. Let me uh, uh, go back uh, to Pixliga Isakaseme, Chaperson, uh, uh, on allegations as indicated on the screen, Chaperson. There were acts of mal uh, administration leveled against the office bearers and employees, and also interference by the executive mayor in the administration of the, of the municipality. And the findings was that the executive mayor and some councillors do interfere in the administration of the municipal council, and that the executive mayor did instruct a, a, a Mjali Zimema attorney to act on behalf of the municipality. The instruction by the executive mayor was unlawful, and the payment to Mjali Zimema attorneys was therefore irregular. As a result of the unlawful instruction and the irregular payment, uh, the municipality incurred a loss of uh, 194,828,050 in uh, 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 legal, legal fees. And, um, and also, in terms of the progress as submitted by uh, the municipality on the chairperson, that the training of the office uh, bearer all councillors on roles and responsibilities of councillors uh, took place on the 4th of, uh, uh, of March 2021, and that the council uh, committee established to investigate the matter has exonerated the executive mayor. It found that the executive mayor acted lawfully when he instructed the attorney to act on behalf of the municipality as per his delegations. Uh, person, in terms of the comment, uh, that uh, uh, the, those uh, uh, findings have been uh, 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 resolved. Then going to another allegation, Chairperson, it was the act uh, of maladministration level against, yes, uh, 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 it's the same allegation. The finding was that the executive mayor issued instruction to stop the payment of councillor Uchi Recording Shabani stopped. Whilst waiting a response from uh, Salga and the Cocta. And, uh, and uh, the progress uh, that's, uh, uh, that, that have been made is that the municipality requested that the MEC for Copta remove Councillor Oti Shabang from office due to him being absent from work for a long period. Councillor Shabang was removed as a councillor that have been resolved and that the municipality has planned to target in recording in progress. And it is the duty of the municip municipal manager to ensure that those plans and targets are met. 
the interfered, uh, uh, interference by the office bearer has an adverse effect on the implementation of the service delivery and budget implementation plan of the municipality. And the progress made was all office bearers were trained on their roles and responsibilities on the March, on the 4th of March, 2021. 20, and that have been uh, 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 resolved. Another allegation, Honorable Chairperson, was the irregular payment of overtime. On the next slide, uh, still in Dr. Pixel Isakaseme, the findings was that the allegation is uh, substi substantiated. In some instances, people work more hours per day in excess of what the law and the policy stipulates. The municipality must adhere to the overtime policy and applicable legislation. The progress made in that uh, 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 um, uh, finding was that um, we, are, we are on finding allegation number two. Would you please move uh, in terms of the slides? The next. Let me continue. Managers to report on all overtime monthly and the top management monitor the implementation of the of the of the police. That is in progress, Honorable Chairperson. In terms of the vacant position to be filled as a matter of agency, prioritization of the filling of post is dependent on the financial position at, uh, at the time for the, for the municipality. And uh, the municipality has made progress in addressing the, 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 the finding chair. And on another allegation, allegation number three, Will you please move the slide? On non-implementation of municipal council resolutions or wrong uh, resolutions are passed. The findings was that council resolutions are not implemented. Some are partly implemented and in some instances, resolutions are taken without following correct procedures. And the progress made up to so far is that the mayoral committee and oversight committee of council are briefed on the implementation of the council resolutions uh, uh, on a monthly basis. And the MM and the, uh, and, uh, and the manager legal attend all council meetings and are given opportunity to advise Council that have been resolved on the rule chair on allocation number four. In terms of underspending of make funds, will you please go to another slide? The findings was that on the rule percent the resolution of the municipality to implement the make funded project internally resulted in Mr. Pangeva the PMU manager registering on the system as the contractor and the consultant. And uh, progress uh, that uh, 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 submitted by the municipality is that consultant appointed for one year and the contractors were appointed for the 2020 2021 financial year. And an another finding is that Mr. Mpangeva was a referee and a player at the same time. And this led to the floating of procurement policies, DPKISLM7, Chaperson, that this he did in contravening of the key principles of MIG policy framework. For example, Mr. Mpangeva in one of his reports reported that the MIG was utilized 100% and which was not true. The National Treasury picked this up when the municipality requested a rollover of 4.1 million that was not uh, 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 spent. And that, uh, 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 in terms of the uh, of the progress uh, uh, submitted, Chaperson is that um, the acting MM, Mr. N. Mugako, appointed uh, to investigate as per the 
disciplinary code. At the special council sitting on the 20th of April, 2021, the acting MM was appointed to investigate the matter. And on the 2nd of June, 2021, Mr. Mbangeva was suspended. And on the 3rd of August, 2021, council referred the matter to the disciplinary board. The matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary board. It is in, in progress, Chaperson. And that is the resolution of the municipality on the next slide. The resolution of the municipality to that the role of the municipal manager is in requesting and signing of the letter of the of the rollover be investigated. And the progress submitted is that the municipality appointed an investigation team to investigate the matter. The report was submitted to council on the 20th of April 2021, and the MM was subsequently suspended. And disciplinary processes are currently underway. On the 3rd of August 2021, council referred the matter to the disciplinary board, and the matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary board. It is still in progress, Chairperson. Still on, on, on the allegation of underspending of milk fund, is that official who are on the next slide, Chaperson? Uh, 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 yes, um, officials who are involved in uh, creating a fictitious orders, PMU, a, a, a manager, together with supply chain, be investigated and, and charged. And uh, and that is the the the, the progress chairperson is that the CFO Mr N uh, 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 Mugako appointed to investigate as per the disciplinary code the report to be received by Monday on the 20, 29th of February 2021 service provider on the site investigating and the issue of the disciplinary action be taken against the PMU manager Mr Mbangeva for reporting that 100% of the milk fund had been spent when in fact it was it was it was not and uh, in terms of the progress on the 2nd of June 2021 Mr Mbangeva was suspended and that on the 3rd of August 2021 council referred the matter to the disciplinary board and the matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary disciplinary board on the next slide, Chairperson, on finding number five, the allegation number five, which is irregular extension or termination of contracts for service uh, provider abuse and non-compliance with the supply chain management uh, 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 process. It's that uh, in terms of the findings, uh, is that all officials and councillors involved in contravention of the supply chain policy be brought to book and disciplinary action be taken against them. The progress thus far is that uh, uh, municip municipality need to be vigilant on supply chain management processes and avoid any violation of the SEM uh, police that is in progress. And on allegation number six, abuse and non-compliance with the supply chain management uh, processes, including uh, fictitious uh, quotations and um, our suppliers. In terms of the findings, is that based on the proof of payment as well as the appointment letters, it is evident that the supplier for the purchase of a sedan vehicle for the executive mayor was appointed and paid for the vehicle while the bid evaluation uh, committee was still busy evaluating the bid uh, or tender, uh, which is tender number T25-2018, was signed by Mr. Butelezi, who had no authority to sign as he was neither the accounting officer nor acting in the accounting officer's uh, uh, capacity. And the progress thus far is that no action since the investigators found that the official involved are no longer in the employ of the of the of the council that was not resolved and that the the fictitious orders were issued uh, to evoke trading amounting to um, 125 uh, 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 thousand um, one, 125 million 
and 75,000. An item has been prepared to council to instruct the disciplinary board to finalize the investigation on the matter because it relates to financial misconduct. The matter will serve to in council uh, before the end of August 2021. And the, 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 the comments there is that on the 3rd of August 2021, council referred the matter to the disciplinary board. The matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary board. It means that it is still in, in progress. Then on allegation, on the next allegation, in terms of the abuse and non-compliance with supply chain management, Chair, is that findings is that Mr. Mpangeva and Mr. Hade may be taken through disciplinary processes for their alleged involvement in creation of a fictitious orders. And the progress is that on the 2nd of June, 2021, Mr. Mpangeva was suspended. The municipality is in the process of uh, reappointing the presiding officer and prosecutor for the disciplinary hearing. And that on the 2nd of June, uh, Mr. Hadebe was placed on suspension. And that on the 3rd of August, 2021, council referred to the matter to the disciplinary board, the matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary board, and that the internal controls implemented in the financial system and operations of the SEM unit uh, uh, monitoring is ongoing. On allegation number seven on the next page, in terms of non-compliance with recruitment, selection procedures, and nepotism. The findings was that the appointment of the Recording chief stopped. officer was unfair. Post of the researcher and HIV coordinator should have been re-advertised. The appointment of Mr. Masego as chief risk officer was unfair. The progress uh, 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 is that according to the investi Gating committee, all the processes were followed. It was not the decision of, of Troika to the secondment of the appointment of Mr. Masego that have been resolved. And that uh, Mr. Shabamu should immediately go back to position of HR manager to the office of the speaker be reversed and then investigated and disciplinary measures instituted. Uh, the, uh, uh, in terms of the progress is that the HR manager secondment reversed that have been resolved and that the acting we made in contravention of section 56 uh, a, a, a Roman figure two of local government municipal systems act number 32 of 2000 and the progress is that corporate uh, services is providing support guidance and report on all a recruitment that have been uh, uh, resolved uh, on allegation number eight um, in terms of the council conduct conducts the investigation on the conduct of the executive mayor and the municipal manager in the acting appointment of the said individuals without obtaining council resolution the findings was that um, council conduct the investigation on the conduct of the executive mayor and the municipal manager in the acting appointment of the said individuals without obtaining council, council resolution. And the progress is that council committee investigated the executive mayor and found no violation of policy and that the municipality appointed an investigation team to investigate the matter. The report was submitted to council on the 20th of April, 2021. The MM was subsequently suspended and disciplinary processes are currently underway that have been resolved. And in terms of the acting appointment uh, uh, were made in contravention of a subsection, section 56, subsection A, Roman figure two of the local government municipal systems act number 32 of 2000, uh, which the finding is that the acting allowances paid to individual wrongfully appointed to act be recovered from them. 
And the progress thus far is that on the 30th of August 2021, Council referred the matter to the disciplinary board. The matter is still under the consideration of the disciplinary board and the service provider appointed to investigate uh, uh, the matter. That is the recording in progress. On the next allegation number nine, which is failure to complete uh, initiated projects. The finding was that the, appointed, the appointment of contractor on 10 key basis should be reconsidered. And the progress is that the 10 key basis for procurement has been found to be a legally sound provisions and the SEM policy will be aligned that is in progress and that what councillors must inform their constituencies on which uh, project belongs to the municipality and how they will be implemented. And the progress was that COVID-19 impacted negatively on public meetings. What committees uh, are being utilized to convey the information to constituencies that is also in progress. And on the um, a, a, a allegation number 10, which is irregular selling of RDP houses and empty stands. The findings was that officials of the human settlement department are not allowed to access and enter certain wards without a prior approval of certain ward councillors. And that uh, in terms of, 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 of the progress is that uh, no interruptions uh, reported in this regard and that, uh, uh, that is in progress, and that there are complaints of uh, people staying in houses that were not allocated to them. The beneficiaries of the houses do not have access to the houses allocated to them, and Councillor T.A. Mazibugo's name featured prominently uh, 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 herein. And the, 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 the progress is that council has appointed an independent investigator to investigate the matter and the investigation are uh, uh, continuing. On allegation number 11, would you please move the slide? I'm now on allegation number 11, appointment of subcontractors. Yes, that one. The community is not informed on how subcontractors and community liaison and persons are appointed, which create an impression that councillors are the ones responsible for such appointment. Progress is that training of councillors took place on the 4th of March 2021 and the appointment of community liaison and persons and their uh, uh, responsibilities. Uh, 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 that that uh, that has been resolved, and on allegation number twelve, yes, Shambe Church and AFM Church stands. It's about that. Then findings was that people have built houses on the stands belonging to the churches, which stands have been registered to these churches to inform the church uh, to consider private eviction processes. The church was informed. And that was a, a, a also a resolved a, 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 a Jefferson. Jefferson, there are also overarching issues in terms of this a, a report on the next slide. A allegation number 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 13. Yes, on allegation number 13, that um, there is a total collapse in the human settlement department, particularly with regards to the allocation of stands. And the findings was that the provincial uh, Department of Human Settlement conduct a verification process to check if the people living in the houses are the correct beneficiaries. And the progress submitted was that COPTA has submitted the matter to the Department of Human Settlement and no response have been received. Uh, 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 this uh, 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 finding is still not resolved. And that um, a meeting between the MEC for COCTA and uh, Department of Community Safety, Secu Security and Liaison be held to address the conduct of uh, SAPS 
members in false trust uh, in investigating some of the unlawful eviction done by councillors, municipal officials, and subs. And the progress is that a COPTA has submitted the matter to the Department of uh, Security, Safety, Security, Safety, uh, it's not DCSL, it's, it's, it's DCSSL. It's Department of Community Safety, Security, and Lysing. No response has been received. And the, the, the matter is still not uh, resolved, uh, 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 I'm done with uh, Pixel, Dr. Pixel Isakaseme. I'm now moving to Governor Mbegi, Chaperson. Allegation number one, uh, in terms of uh, 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 Governor Mbegi, is that uh, uh, there is non-compliance with the recruitment selection and acting uh, appointment, including nepotism. The findings was that appointments that were not made in accordance with the policies and procedures, a supervisor, a water and sanitation cashier, head cashier, secretary to the full-time counselors, TLB operator, assistant mechanic, uh, heavy vehicle drivers, secretary to the MM special project, special project coordinator, executive secretary of the executive of the mayor, artisan, sewer net distribution, a, a water network distribution, clerk on water and electricity reading and billing, a DDSCM and uh, contract management executive secretary uh, to the MM. Uh, uh, that is the finding number one. And that uh, progress is that the municipality has instituted disciplinary processes against all officials implicated in wrongdoing. Disciplinary processes are underway, and that is the speaker wrote to Councillor Gonono, giving her an opportunity to explain herself on the allegations contained in the report, and she has denied the, 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 the allegation. Councillor Ngonono was the executive mayor having well, the local municipality. Mm -hmm. And that um, the recruitment and selection of employees at the municipality is greatly influenced by certain political office bearers. The former executive mayor, uh, Councillor T. Y. Ngonona, as I, I, I indicated, and that policies circulated to portfolio committee and uh, uh, um, uh, the LLF for input. The, another one is that a uh, 12 acting appointment were made during the two financial uh, periods without compliance with the, with the acting, acting policy. It's when the, 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 the policy was circulated uh, to portfolio committees as well as local labor forum for, for, for inputs that have been developed. And another, okay, we are still continuing, Chair, on the, on the, on the finding, findings in terms of the, the first allegations. Conduct skills uh, 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 audit of all officials in the municipality. And the progress is that the skill audit was conducted internally using tools made available by COPTA and Bomalanga. Uh, uh, 1,146 forms captured in the system, 916 profiles are appearing on the system, 230 forms captured but profiles not appearing on the system, and uh, 57 is still out, outstanding. Uh, there, the, 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 there is still a, 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 a progress in that regard. And the other findings is that skills development plan should be developed and appropriate training be provided. Progress is that the workplace skills plan was compiled and submitted to LG CETA. The work skills plan was approved by LG CETA on the 5th of August, 2021. Another finding is that, is that implement performance and management system uh, progress is that uh, PMS has not been cascaded to lower levels, only directors and some deputy directors are being assessed. And in terms of the recruitment and selection policy that must be reviewed, 
the recruitment and selection policy was approved by council as per resolution A028-03-2021. Allegation number two, on the appointment of the chief financial officer on the on the next slide, yes, chief financial officers was made in contravention with the local government municipal system act number 32 of 2000 read together with applicable uh, 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 regulations and the findings was that. <clears throat> the findings was that the appointment of the chief financial officer was in contravention of the act in that he failed to comply with the minimum requirements for the position as published in the regulations. He received a basic level of competency and no employment contract and all performance agreement was concluded within the time frame as stipulated in the act as and as per the council resolution. Uh, progress is that the employee has since resigned effective from the 28th of February 2021, and the matter is now closed. The next allegation, uh, number three. Yes. Um, on non-implementation of municipal council resolution. Uh, the findings is that there is no proper process in place to monitor the progress of the implementation of the council resolution. And that is some, okay, and that is some uh, heads of department are not held accountable non-implementation of council resolutions which results in resolutions not being implemented and overlapping into the following financial year. There are a number of municipal council resolutions which were not implemented, but some were in the process of implementation and as such have not been implemented. Then progress thus far is that council resolutions are tracked and reported to council on the on the quarterly 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 basis, and in terms of the disciplinary board was established to investigate allegations of financial misconduct in the municipality, and to monitor the institution's disciplinary uh, proceedings, and the progress that was submitted by the municipalities that council resolved to augment capacity of the disciplinary board and an advert advert has been issued for the appointment of an independent member while treasurer seconded an official to serve on the board interviews were held for the disciplinary board a report is awaiting a council uh, uh, approval that have also uh, been uh, 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 resolved and in terms of uh, another finding, which is on the uh, yes, on the other slide, is that an area of concern is still the right of of movable and immovable assets for the period ending on the thirtieth of June, twenty seventeen. A total of um, one thousand two hundred and fifty eight assets carrying value of uh, thirteen million three hundred and thirty seven thousand and sixty one were written off. No documents have been provided to, to substantiate the writing off of these assets, despite the request made in respect of the same. Then progress submitted is that the report was submitted to council with the write off of 13,337,061. And however, after realizing an error on the report, a new report was submitted uh, and approved for a write-off for an amount of 5,728,536. That is a, a, a council resolution A78-08-2017, which was then affected uh, on the AFS 
This resolution then replaces a resolution A68 a stroke 07 stroke 2017 and uh, the UIFW which is the uh, unauthorized expenditure it's an acronym for unauthorized expenditure irregular expenditure fruitless expenditure and wasted uh, expenditure strategy and policy have been developed and uh, the policy was a uh, workshop with all councillors and approved by council uh, that is the uh, council uh, resolution number A012 uh, stroke 01 stroke 2021 that have been uh, uh, resolved. Moving to another allegation number four in terms of irregular or maladministration in the awarding of bursaries. Yes, we are there. The findings is that no bursaries were granted during the two financial uh, periods. Therefore, there was no contravention of the existing policy in this uh, regard. And that limited training was given uh, to uh, employees. And also that uh, the, the, the lack of skills, develop, skills development is indicative of non-compliance with the applicable legislation in ensuring growth and investment returns on the skills development and training of employees and investment returns on the skills development and training uh, employees. The progress thus far is that total planned training beneficiaries of 187 females and 299 males training following interventions are planned for the third quarter ORHVS energy uh, has met a uh, technician uh, under fire and basic electric electrical uh, also under energy copy act training and also hygiene and cleaning and uh, a, a, a machine operator training that is in progress in terms of the trainings that are continuing on the next uh, allegation allegation number five irregular extension or termination of contracts for service providers. The findings is that there are a number of service providers providing services without service level agreement concluded with the municipality and that some contracts are regularly being extended on a month to month basis without jurisdiction without justification cause, causing reliance on expired contracts during a dispute. The progress is that contract management committee has been established and members appointed in writing uh, 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 by the uh, AMM, uh, the, 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 the TOR for the committee is to monitor conditions of a, a, a contract. Uh, another one is that notice should be given to, to service providers at least three months uh, before expiry uh, uh, contracts. And uh, uh, progress is that notices have been uh, issued for the contract uh, that GMM has uh, 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 terminated. And sub -con so some contracts are being terminated haphazardly without compliance and or consideration of contractual right and obligation. Progress is that contract management uh, committee has been directed to assess all services without contracts. A number of contracts through panels have been established and contracts have been uh, 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 signed. Uh, 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 and on the next next um, allegation, okay, well, we're still continuing with this uh, irregular extension of termination of contract. Yes, another finding is that there have been numerous litigation cases instituted by service providers as a result of non-payment of invoices for services rendered uh, which uh, stem from the contract signed between the service providers and the municipality. And that um, uh, Mavuta contractors, director and senior engineering technicians of the, of the municipality are linked. 
And the progress thus far is that uh, letters have been written to the following service providers to respond to the allegation against them. And the municipality is still waiting for their response. They did not respond to the first letters and follow up letters have been uh, written to them. The contractors are Kola PTY LTD, Lima, Likawe, uh, and Mavuta. That is still in, in progress. Continuing of the findings on the next uh, slide, uh, some contractors are regularly being extended on a month to month basis without a justification causing reliance on expired contracts during disputes. They are service providers with link a director, directors, hashtag and Vuma Gonke. And uh, another finding is that some sources have indicated that Councillor Ngozi and Councillor P. Dimjali both uh, derive benefit from the relationships that the municipality has with Sinotile, Vumagonke, and Lucky Boy Enterprise. And the progress that was submitted by the municipality is that the following service providers are challenging the report in court, Vumagonke, Transport and Project CC, and uh, Sinotile Transport and Project CC, hashtag to the municipality, Incorporated and the Department of Copter to Court to set aside the recommendations of the Section 106 report insofar as the relate in, in insofar as it relates to them. And the SP in the matter implicating the chief whip has applied to court to have the findings set aside. And Council Ankos is no longer a member of the uh, uh, GMM, which is the Gavin uh, Municipality Council, and the matter is out of GMM uh, jurisdiction. It's still in progress, that one. Continuing of findings, some sources have indicated that Council Ankos and Council Apidim Jali both derive benefit from the relationships that the municipality has with Sinotile, Vumagonke, and Lucky Boy Enterprises. And the progress that was submitted by the municipalities that the standard operating procedures are still in progress of uh, development. And that uh, certain preferred service providers are frequently enlisted to provide services and goods despite the availability of other services service providers on the then uh, existing panel. Some of them do not have a service level agreement and the others have allegedly been paid without confirmation of having to render services or deliver goods for the municipality. Municipal manager to report directors of certain companies to the Hawks. The, the progress is that the matter has been reported to the Hawks and relevant documents have been handed over. Criminal case was opened under case uh, CAS 136-2-2021. Relevant documents have also been handed over to the Hawks. That is in progress. On allegation number six, irregular and underspending of municipal uh, 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 infrastructure grant and water services infrastructure uh, uh, grant, the WISIC and uh, the failure to complete initiated projects. The findings was that municipality has over the two financial periods experienced challenges in the expenditure of funds allocated for municipal um, uh, infra uh, infrastructures. In the financial period of 2018-2019, the municipality had budgeted and implemented 10 infrastructure projects, of which four were carried over the, the financial period of 2017-2018 and were completed during October and December 2018. From the allocated 65 million allocated for the financial period 
of 2018-2019, by June 2019, the municipal had only spent 94%, uh, uh, which was due to the implementation of the acceleration uh, plan. Factors which uh, contributed to the underspending of the MIG uh, ranges from the late procurement to community disruptions, and as such, the appointed service providers commence with work uh, 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 late and uh, there is no progress that was submitted on these uh, allegations and uh, 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 the matter is still not uh, uh, resolved. And on the next uh, 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 findings, that the project management unit at the municipality should operate independently so as to enable uh, members to perform their duties and responsibility in accordance with the code of a, a good practice and that PMU must regularly monitor the project and prepare progress report to ensure proper spending in accordance with the implementation plans and that the municipality should encourage community involvement and participation and that the municipality should avoid continuously appointing one service provider but should appoint different and competent service providers who are able to meet all the specifications of the bids in accordance with, with the, 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 the policy. Uh, there is no progress that is submitted uh, uh, up until now, and the matter is still not uh, resolved. Uh, on item number seven, allegation number seven, uh, 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 in terms of failure to complete initiated projects, the finding is that the municipality has experience challenges in the completion of initiated pro projects and that we have discovered that the municipality had budget and implemented 10 projects during the financial period of 2018-2019 of which four projects were carried over from the financial uh, period of 2017-2018 uh, and accordingly were completed during the period of October and December 20, 2018. And that the challenge experienced by the municipality in this regard ranges from the late procurement to community disruptions. And as such, the appointed service providers commence with work late. Community protests in some areas of GMM resulted in contractors not having access to, to sites for delays. Heavy rains in the area during the rainy season season result in site not being accessible and uh, because of the clay soil conditions heavy heavy uh, a, 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 a machinery and equipment cannot access the site until the ground is uh, stabilized uh, no progress is uh, submitted and the matter is not uh, 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 resolved then on allegation number nine in terms of abuse of a non-compliance with the supply chain management processes, including advertising of tenders without complying with SEM uh, processes. The findings were that some transition involving Sinotile Transport and Project CC and Vumagonke Transport and Project CC by way of deviation were irregular and done without compliance with the local government municipal finance management act and supply chain management uh, uh, policy and that the payment of invoices from sinotile transport and project cc Bumagonke transport and project cc amcoil africa pty ltd and lima lukawe investment amounted to irregular expenditure the progress that was submitted is that letters have been written to the following service providers to respond to the allegations against them and the municipality is still waiting for their response. The Kola PTY LTD, Lima Lukawe, Mavuta, Amcoil Africa PTY LTD, Lukawe Investment. And uh, uh, this is still in, in progress. Another findings is that 16 transactions were, were recorded on the deviation register, but the same were not reported to the municipal council as per regulations uh, 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 36 
uh, sub-regulation number two of the municipal supply chain management uh, regulations. And that the appointment of hashtag Invomo PTY LTD for the provision of security guard at region two in Secunda for a period of 36 months was irregular and invalid. And the progress submitted is that no responses were received from these service providers and the municipality has written follow-up letters. The following service providers are challenging the report in court, the Vumagonke Transport and Project CC, Sinotile Transport and Project CC, hashtag took the municipality, Mutlasiseleke, incorporated in the Department of Cocta to court to set aside the recommendations of the 106 report insofar as it relates to them. And that Cocta and Moshasi Seleke are defending the matter. And that is in progress. Allegation number 10, disciplinary action against employees the findings that the disciplinary action to be institu instituted against the following officials implicated in wrongdoings, uh, Advocate T.M. Kininda, Mr. H. Ramoleta, Mr. S. Rasmeni, uh, Mr. T.I. Pongwayo, Mr. E. Mkompe, Mr. S. Mkona. Uh, the progress submitted is that the discipline processes have been uh, 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 have started against the implicated officials. The matter of Mr. H. Uh, Ramleta has been finalized and he was found not guilty. The disciplinary processes for the other officials are currently underway. That is in progress. I'm done, Chairperson, with Governor Peggy. I'm now moving to Ligua, local municipality. Allegation number one for Ligua. <clears throat> it's that there the are no proper controls and financial uh, stability in the municipality. The municipality has a financial deficit of 300 million, is over indebted and is behind uh, on SARS and ESCOM debt uh, payment. The findings was that non-compliance with paragraph 65 a, a, a subsection one a sub, a, 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 and two E of the MFMA, a, which states that the accounting officer of the municipality is responsible for the management of the municipality and must take all reasonable steps to ensure that all money owing by the municipality be paid within 30 days of, res of receiving the relevant invoice or statement unless prescribed otherwise for certain categories uh, of expenditure. The ESCOM statement from 2015 to 2017 indicate interest paid on a rear amount of um, 67 million and 43,021 um, uh, 89 cent paragraph uh, 32 uh, sub uh, subsection uh, uh, 1, 2, B of the MFMA states that unauthorized, irregular, and fruitless expenditure in case of irregular or fruitless and wasteful expenditure is after investigation by a council committee certified by the council as irrecoverable and written off by, by the council. And the progress that was submitted by the municipalities that an arrangement existed through a court order since 2017. There are four companies that pay directly to ESCOM. The municipality pays 15% of its equitable share. The municipality pays a weekly amount of 500,000 to ESCOM in line with, in line to cash flow project. That is in a, 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 a progress. Allegation number two that, uh, about the municipality has an irregular expenditure of 1 billion as per the audit report. The findings is that um, paragraphs uh, 32, subsection 1, subse uh, 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 2B 
of the MFMA states that unauthorized irregular and fruitless expenditure in case of irregular or fruitless and wasteful expenditure is after investigation by a council committee certified by the council as irrecoverable and written off by the council. And the progress submitted is that the municipality has since approached provincial and national treasury to assist in the uh, development of a realistic payment plan post an assessment uh, uh, of the municipality financial position from the actuariat uh, uh, point that is uh, in progress. Allegation number three, for the past three financial years, the municipality's budget was not funded. Findings is that there has been non-compliance with section 18 of the MFMA Act number 56 of 2003. The provincial treasury's review of the Ligua local municipality uh, MTREF budget dated 26 May 2015. And uh, it is indicated that the budget had a deficit in the amount of 654 million and was unsustainable. Treasury's recommendation had not been implemented. And the progress uh, submitted is that from 2020, the municipality is operating with a funded budget support by provincial treasury. All uh, uh, our equitable share have been paid and uh, uh, none withheld. Uh, that has been uh, resolved. Allegation number four. <clears throat> May I drink water? Thank you, Chair. On uh, item number four, <clears throat> uh, allegation number four, appointment of the service provider, the value, compilation of the of the new <clears throat> compilation of the new general valuation role and the extension of the existing general valuation role contrary to the local government municipal property rate act of 2004 as amended the findings was that the appointment letter prepared by the Ligua local municipality for for create a, a, a same number a, a, a pty ltd and noted that the appointment letter signed by the municipal manager is not in the letterhead of the Ligua local municipality. And, and following the recommendations, the municipality has ensured that all officials uh, appointed letters are done with official letterhead and that a filling register has been implemented to ensure improved um, filling and location of documents. And that, um, <clears throat> A capacity gap exists within the records management section corporate services to finalize specifications for service provider to support implementation of records management and facilitate a capacity. The finding is being addressed and on the allegation number five, Yes, um, the municipal manager has uh, disbanded the supply chain uh, uh, committee and invoked a municipal supply chain management regulation number two of 2005, hereafter referred to as regulation 32 without fully adhering to the requirement of regulation uh, 32 sub regulation one. The findings was that the municipal manager has disbanded the supply chain management committee and invoked section 32 of the supply chain regulation since the committee were not a, a functional. The municipality may suffer financial loss uh, as a result of lack of competitive uh, uh, bidding. And that section 32 was invoked by the municipal manager and 
was resulted in the abuse of the supply chain management prescripts. Ligua local municipality appointed R&D Mrazane trading on, on the 5th of January 2018. Although they have received the permission from Uchugela district municipality on the 16th of January 2018. The appointment of R&D Mrazane trading is not in line with regulation 32 subregulation 1D since the paragraph um, required that other organ of state and the provider to consent to such procurement in writing. But we have noted that the permission was provided by Uchugela local municipality on the 16th of January 2018, after the company has already been appointed by the Ligua local municipality. And the, the progress that was submitted by the municipality is that the executive mayor in consultation with the council and advised by the disciplinary board issued a warning as recommended by the uh, uh, section 106 report of the uh, municipal uh, uh, manager uh, that have been uh, uh, resolved and uh, items still continue according to Clow consulting pty ltd the contractor was provided with the boq which the contractor completed at a much higher uh, contract amount than uh, he was appointed for. This resulted in a portion of the quantity being uh, taken out, namely the elevated steel tank. And another one is that no evidence was provided to the investigators that all the requirements for regulation 32 were complied with by the Ligua local municipality. When appointing the consultant, Nago Liso Consulting Engineers and the contractor, uh, Takron PTY LTD using regulation 32. And the progress that was submitted is that the executive mayor in consultation with council and advised by the disciplinary board to issue a warning as recommended uh, by a uh, section 106 report to the municipal uh, 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 manager. Uh, that was uh, 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 resolved. Um, allegation number six. <clears throat> it is about the recommendation made by the municipality's bid uh, evaluation committee and bid adjudication committee were never considered by the municipal manager. The finding was that the municipality did not appoint the recommended contractor as per the report of Chloe Consulting, and that the evaluation report prepared by Chloe Consulting was sent to the municipal manager for their uh, consideration on the 16th of January 2018. However, the Ligua local municipality decided to ignore the recommendation and appointed a uh, Tapiwe Logistics and Kalandra uh, JV. And the progress that was submitted is that the municipality has finalized the recruitment of a CFO, which has been vacant for three years. This will ensure stability and accountability in all SCM uh, matters. That uh, findings was resolved. Continuation of allegation number six, we have also noted the appointment letter of Tapiwe Logistics CC and Kalandra Trading 621 PTY LTD JV, JV, which is dated 5 January 2018. Although the evaluation was performed on the 16th of January 2018 by the consult consultant, the content of the appointment letter indicates that in its sitting during a meeting held on the 8th of January 2018, the Municipal Bid Adjudication, Ad Adjudication Committee considered the bid and uh, resolved to recommend for, for, for your appointment. The progress submitted is that since the finding, all SCM committees have been refreshed and capacitated through the incorporation of a MESA uh, uh, for the 2020-2021 uh, financial year. And that the in 
consistencies of the date as indicated above is an indication that the committees appointed by the municipal manager were not functional and the municipal manager failed to take necessary action against uh, the committees. Uh, 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 in terms of the progress, there is also scheduled annual trainings for all appointed members of SEM committees by a provincial uh, uh, treasury. On allegation number seven, <clears throat> Service providers appointed in terms of regulation 32 were paid an estimated amount of, uh, of um, uh, 8 million uh, 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 rand on the 3rd of February 2018, while the site handover meeting was scheduled for the 5th of February 2018, which implies that the said service providers were paid before any work was done. However, local cooperatives who were also appointed in terms of regulation did to have not been paid to date. The findings is that payment to service providers for work not performed were made by the Ligua local municipality on the 3rd of February 2018. It was a Saturday on the instruction of the deputy CFO. And the progress is that the recommendations are noted and will be implemented within the prescribed legislated and legal uh, framework. And that the invoices for the total amount of 2,283,970 uh, cents were rejected by the consultant, the TRO consulting, since there was no work performed Payment certificate, which indicates the percentage of completion for project before payment may be made, were also not co compiled, um, compiled. The contractor submitted the invoices, their invoices is directly to the municipality and they were paid for work not performed. And the, 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 the progress uh, submitted is that since the finding all projects referred to have been verified and uh, 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 completed. The matter was uh, resolved. <coughs> Continuation of allegation number seven. <coughs> the finding is that Takron Project PTY LTD claimed uh, an amount of uh, 990,270 uh, 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 from Ligua local municipality using the summary of uh, schedule they were using at Water Sisulu local municipality to claim payment certificates. Progress as submitted is that a uh, corporate services to establish the circumstance leading to any transgression by all mentioned officials and recommended appropriate uh, remedial action in line with a uh, collective main agreement and disciplinary code for all uh, employees. And that the consultant certified the payment certificated uh, as correct on the 29th of January 2018, there is an indication that there was a collusion between the consultant and the contractor since the consultant certified work not done as a, 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 a corrected. In terms of the, of the progress as submitted, um, uh, corporate services to establish the circumstance leading to any transgression by all mentioned officials and recommended appropriate remedial action in line with collective main agreement and disciplinary code uh, for all employees and that corporate finding and report to be handed over to the disciplinary board and that the legal service to provide um, legal opinion in relation to the recommendation to blacklist the mentioned service provider, considering that all work was completed, uh, certified, and uh, handed over. 
that uh, 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 finding is still in progress. <coughs> Allegation number eight. The local economic development unit is not run properly by the municipality. The LED wants all project uh, tenders uh, to be awarded to the local contractors. It has also been established during our investigation that the LED is actually a group of local business people who wants to take control of the municipality. It has further been established that it is uh, bullying the municipality into implementing a decision it has taken without consultation. The, 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 the progress submitted is that the recommendation is noted. This uh, process will be guided by approved policy of Ligua municipal policies or, or, or of Ligua municipality and the CFA and PMU to develop a monitoring tool that ensure 30% local content in all bid specification. National treasury secular to be implemented. The finding is still not yet addressed. Item number nine, allegation number nine, there are no procurement plans in the municipality and no competency bidding. The finding is that the municipality budget is on a deficit and makes it difficult to fund municipality services and the procurement plans are also affected as there is no competitive bidding. And the progress submitted is that the municipality has refrained from using section 32 since the findings uh, 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 of all uh, projects are subjected to competitive bidding in line with a uh, recommendation. And that an awareness for the development of departmental procurement plan has been raised. However, the unnoted uh, capacity gaps and that the municipality to solicit support within COPTA and provincial uh, treasury that is in progress. Allegation number 10, municipal infrastructure grant uh, fund were not spent in terms of the MIG framework and applicable national benchmarking by the end of December 2017. MIG was not spent in terms of the MIG framework and applicable benchmarking. The progress that was submitted is that the recommendation are noted and that due to locked budgetary allocation Processes processed by Treasury. The municipality has been overtaken by time. Thus, funds withheld in 2017-2018 cannot be recovered. In 2018-2019 and 2019-2020, the municipality spent 100% of its MIG allocation. For 2020-2021, the municipality, with the support of MESA, is on track to spend all its MIG allocation. Corporate service to expand their investigation to the written recommendation. That is his progress. Allegation number 11 <clears throat> incapability of the municipality to deliver basic services in a sustainable manner, namely sewage, sewage uh, spillages and reliable supply of electricity and water shortages. The findings was that during our investigation, we have noted incapability of municipality to deliver basic services in a sustainable manner, namely sewerage, uh, spillages, and reliable supply of, of electricity and water shortages. The evidence submitted to us reveals that this is uh, substantiated. During the time the investigation team was on site, we experience electricity outages and lack of water uh, 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 firsthand. And the progress submitted is that electricity challenges are noted. However, this is a, a countrywide challenge from uh, ESCOM and that the municipality has also been uh, trotted by ESCOM due to a national maximum demand limits which negatively affect our customers. 
majority of our electricity customers are not prepaid electricity, where the, uh, the instances incorrect billing of uh, our uh, conventional customers, finance will investigate. Uh, the matter is not yet uh, uh, being addressed. Continuation of allegation number 11, there are certain works which never have electricity or water supplied to them. We have evidence which shows 36% of the municipalities active water meters showed no consumption as at 26 September, 2017. We have not had confirmation on number of meters being repaired since then. We have not informed how many of those meters were in the, in the areas where there was no water. The progress is that the municipality has since conducted an infrastructure assessment, identifying gaps and also providing costing. This assessment is supported uh, by Mesa, Copter and Rainwater. And that in 2020, 2021, MIG budget has been earmarked to deal with water and sanitation, wherein matters of sewer spillages and Val River pollution are to be addressed. And that uh, GSDM, the Khartibandi District uh, uh, Municipality, is an implementing agent on behalf of the uh, Department of Water and Sanitation, attending to Roy Copen sewer spillages with a project worth plus minus 50 uh, million rands. And that um, the municipality has not yet addressed this finding. Moving to Dr. Dr. And Dr. 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 I'm worried about time. As much as I said, you must highlight the allegations and especially the amount that was spent and what you are doing to resolve the problem. I want us not, I want you not to go read sentence by sentence. Just give us a summary and move to the other allegation. Give us a small summary, go to the other allegation. Otherwise, we are not going to finish. You have been on the platform for more than one hour, 30 minutes now, and this is a bit worrisome. I want to give members of parliament more time to engage with your presentation as well. We have this meeting until half past seven. If you can just consider that, find a way of just giving a total summary without reading every every allegation. Okay, thank you very much. As you proceed. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. I will try and summarize. Uh, uh, um, uh, in terms of Dr. J.S. Moroka, let me just check uh, how many allegations were there. Okay. No. Uh, in terms of Dr. J.S. Moroka, she allegation uh, 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 number one, in terms of misusing of, 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 of funds, Chairperson, the finding was about um, the bodyguard of the executive uh, 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 salary of the bodyguard of the executive uh, mayor, and uh, which is uh, at the threshold of um, uh, 205 million uh, point four, and um, and that chair. Um, uh, the, the, the municipality has written a letter uh, to the executive mayor uh, 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 and, and also uh, to the manager, uh, 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 Mr. Mungu, Mungu, who was the acting MM uh, 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 by then. And uh, he responded, Chair, uh, 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 in terms of uh, 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 requesting of the, of the, of the clarity and, and the, 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 the information. This uh, uh, um, uh, uh, allegation chair is not yet uh, uh, resolved, is still outstanding with that amount as, as, as I indicated. And also another one uh, of another bodyguard chair um, where um, the, 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 the bodyguard was paid 
a total amount of 123 million from July 28 to to February 2020. And also, Chair, that a, 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 a allegation is still not a, a resolved. It is about the misusing of public funds to pay overtime to certain officials to work a percent. And on allegation number two, it was about the abuse of mayoral behaviour. The, the fuel cost that was uh, incurred uh, in seven months' time at the tune of 122,744,000 uh, 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 and the, 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 the kilometers in terms of uh, uh, the, the hike is also indicated there, Chair, and also uh, in 2019, the issue of the total cost uh, that was a paid chair is also indicated today. And um, and uh, also chair in terms of the of the of, of the uh, uh, progress in that regard, chair the matter is not yet uh, resolved uh, with with the amount that is indicated uh, in, in that slide, uh, chairperson. And on the next uh, allegation, Chair, it's also about the, 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 the hike, Chairperson. It indicates the number of kilometers that we traveled, as well as the cost of the fuel uh, that was used, Chair, uh, by March, uh, uh, Chairperson, in terms of the liter. It indicates even the liters that we, that, that we used there. And also, Chairperson, uh, uh, may I also indicate that that a uh, 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 finding is not yet a uh, 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 resolved uh, uh, and also the, the the allegation number three is about the implementation of council uh, uh, resolution and um, uh, it indicates in terms of uh, the final IDP that was uh, uh, approved. And, uh, and, uh, and that um, uh, the municipal manager have uh, implemented his own uh, 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 organogram and uh, in terms of, uh, 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 which is not in terms of a uh, municipal systems act and that uh, uh, allegation uh, or the finding is not uh, resolved a uh, chairperson. And also, uh, allegation number four about Mr. Upega security guard, chairperson, uh, 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 and and uh, and that um, uh, uh, Mr. Upega, uh, 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 the, the the total cost of the security guard uh, for Mr. Upega, uh, uh, who was the then uh, uh, municipal manager there, uh, was a uh, for from March 29, 2019, on the 29th of March 2019 to the 5th of December 2019, amount to a 341,794 uh, according to the uh, invoices that were, 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 were provided uh, by that time. And uh, the letter was written to, to Mr. Gubega. However, the, the, the report was, was not a um, was not a uh, 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 the, the, is not yet uh, resolved. The matter was not yet uh, 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 resolved. And uh, on allegation number four about the the municipal uh, uh, manager using a security company, it's it's the same. It's the same. Uh, uh, that one uh, uh, chair. It also talk about the the, the, the municipal manager. 
um, allegation number four. Then on allegation number five, it's about the misuse or abuse of council council uh, uh, asset, uh, where assets of the council were, were used and uh, the grader uh, with that uh, registration DPS 525 MP uh, was stolen while was parked at a uh, uh, at that uh, Noganeng community hall around October, and that grader was not found, uh, Chaperson, and that the letter was was written also to the former executive mayor, uh, 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 Mrs. Rampedi, and the issue is not yet uh, uh, resolved. And also uh, that um, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Shongwa indicated that um, he was instructed by uh, the fleet manager, uh, Mr. Jackson Mashangu, to leave uh, his tech and the key inside the, the grader. And uh, uh, that was also denied. And uh, uh, in terms of the responses that was uh, submitted, uh, it's that um, uh, Mr. Mashangu, Mr. Skosana, Mr. Ms. Skosana and Ms. Shongwa, uh, 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 who were, they were, uh, they were uh, the, 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 the driver. Mr. Ms. Shongwa was the driver and the other two officials uh, uh, were transport officers uh, 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 and, uh, and uh, they were finished also uh, uh, with uh, the letter was also written uh, 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 to the former executive manager, uh, Chaperson, uh, 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 and also were uh, also written to the to the officials that I have also mentioned, so that they can be able to respond to the issue of the misuse of a uh, council, council uh, uh, assets. And also uh, those uh, 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 um, uh, uh, findings were not yet resolved. Only letters that were written to them. And uh, also a uh, chairperson uh, 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 and other officials, uh, other officials were also a, 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 a finished with with the letters uh, you mr mohale nakabe prep a a a a a a a a it's mr miss yes uh, uh, it's mr mukwen and miss a uh, a uh, sikosana uh, who are also transport uh, uh, officers and um, uh, 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 they finished uh, 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 them with with the letters and the in terms of the of the comment uh, 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 the matter is still not uh, 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 yet resolved there is no consequence management that way uh, uh, affected uh, to the to the to the officials in terms of the findings number six uh, that was about the water tanker uh, with that uh, 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 registration that spent the amount of um, 13,243,129 uh, uh, on fleet uh, 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 cards. And uh, 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 the amount, uh, it indicates that the amount was reduced in May 2019 since uh, the municipal manager grounded all the motor vehicles of the of the of the of the municipalities however uh, there are other amounts that were spent at your super quick robin style at the tune of twenty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety five uh, and also and also another one for uh, vehicle tires at the tune of twenty nine uh, 1,638 uh, 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 and also uh, that uh, 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 finding is not yet uh, uh, resolved.
uh, chairperson, and uh, the, there is also an indicative of uh, those uh, uh, fleet, uh, registration fleet number, where the uh, amount we used, uh, like the, 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 the one that was used in January 2019, uh, the, that uh, registration of that uh, uh, water tender is FBW uh, uh, 096MP, uh, they, they charge um, 15,312. It's not yet resolved. Uh, where uh, municipal petrol cards and fleet were abused. And also on, still on the allegation number six, there is an indicative of the amount of uh, 74,846 also was used in the water tanker. And also uh, the water tanker with that registration, the same in the registration uh, in 2019, January, the, the fuel cost was at 35,691. And there is a trader there uh, with that registration of the LX 129 uh, 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 MP, where the cylinder uh, 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 had to be repaired at Pretoria and at the tune of 15,888, uh, 20%. And uh, on that date, on the, in September, there is also a, 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 a current a service a, 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 a repaired a, a, at the cost of 20, 28,166, including the amount of 2,943, uh, which was for towing. Uh, uh, it indicated that uh, the odometer of that grader was at the tune of uh, 9,660 kilometer. Also not resolved that uh, allegation or that finding. And uh, uh, on the 5th of December, uh, a grader was repaired. Uh, and also on the 6th of July, at the cost of 7,788, uh, and uh, the grader uh, uh, on that time, the odometer was not uh, as indicated earlier on that it was uh, 9,660 kilometer, but it was now indicative of uh, 4,731 in terms of the odometer, and that grader uh, 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 for the reparence of that grade that was at the tune of 51,843. Another grade that is indicated there with the registration of FFB 094MP uh, 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 was uh, 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 repaired, uh, 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 was tires were changed at Sesfigile Auto in Siabuswa. Uh, on that date, uh, the cost was 65,600. And uh, the cost for repairing uh, the grader between December 2018 and 2019 was at the tune of 120,475. Uh, uh, and also that was no, never resolved. Uh, still on the abuse of municipal uh, uh, fleet uh, 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 chairperson uh, as indicated there uh, 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 in December, a uh, Victoria motor engine uh, where the odometer uh, 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 of, of that grader was uh, uh, at uh, uh, 298,000 1,745 kilometer, and uh, with the opening odometer at uh, 6,569, and uh, 140 liters of petrol uh, 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 were fueled at the cost of uh, 2,133.
chairperson. And also, uh, it indicates that the grader was fueled uh, 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 in the evening at uh, about 18, 18 uh, uh, hours. Uh, it was in December 2018. And, uh, and also, uh, at Sakani, uh, 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 in the morning. It means that it was fueled uh, uh, um, uh, in the evening and also uh, uh, on the seventh in the evening and on the eighth uh, in the morning. Uh, 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 and also the issue of um, a, a, a odometer is also indicated there uh, 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 on the same on the same page where uh, the 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 the, the the, the card was also used uh, at h and s Motus Shell uh, in Middleburg and also at Energy Kamir R Sasol in, in Siabuswa on different times. And uh, the coast there uh, at Motus Shell, uh, it was 400 liters uh, 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 at the cost of 6,000. 636 and the odometer is indicated there a, 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 a chairperson of, of of where the 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 the, the card a fuel card of a grader was used and the matter is still not uh, resolved and also the fuel card was also used again on the 11th of december 2018 at Zakane Convenient Engine in Mamelodi with that odometer uh, 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 in terms of kilometers. And, um, and the, 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 the registration is as indicated there, FFB 094MP, uh, 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 and um, And according to the logbook, a uh, 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 that uh, registration was used uh, by Mr. Stephens Maditze from 2016 to 20, uh, 2018. And the, the grader was based at Falbank, uh, 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 under roots and, and, and stormwater. And the issue was not uh, uh, resolved. And uh, the following one in terms of bursaries that we award, were awarded to Miss uh, Peladi Reba Chaperson. Something uh, 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 just disturbed me, Chairperson. My apology. Uh, 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 on that one, Chairperson, in terms of bazaar that was uh, 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 awarded, uh, 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 Chairperson, it indicated that um, uh, uh, it, Dr. J. S. Uh, local municipality um, uh, did not come complied with when they awarding a bazaar to Miss Peladi, Peladi River, uh, 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 that she was attending grade 12 at her school uh, 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 based in uh, 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 Whitbank. And, um, and uh, the letter also was written to the, to the, to the uh, former executive mayor and uh, the uh, Miss Rampedi as the, the corporate service uh, 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 a manager, and the matter was not uh, uh, resolved, but they were informed so that they can be able to respond back. They did not respond, but the findings was that that buzzer was allocated uh, 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 wrongly to Miss uh, uh, Palido River, and. Uh, the the, 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 the the budget the, the, the buzzer amounted to from 2015 to 
uh, amount to 318,294 cents. Uh, and the, 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 the allocation is not yet uh, 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 resolved. Um, and also, there is also a buzzer that was awarded to Ms. Mahadi. It indicated that it's Boshomane, the daughter of Councillor Boshomane, a, 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 a chairperson. And that, a, 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 that budget, the, 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 that buzzer amounted to 487,191. Uh, annually, uh, and they have also written a letter to Councillor Bushomane, and uh, uh, he responded back requesting further information on the issue leveled against him, still not resolved. Uh, 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 that matter is still not yet resolved. Um, and there is also an allegation in terms of appointment of Katlejo, Sekwala, Sekwala's daughter, and uh, and uh, the findings uh, indicated that uh, uh, Miss Katlejo uh, Sekwala, um, the, her application is dated 27 March 2014 for the position of what committee a uh, coordinator and uh, 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 Ms. Katle Hosekwala uh, appointment was on the 24th of August 2016 and uh, the advert job advert uh, when Ms. Kwala was appointed in 2016 uh, was not uh, in her personal uh, file. When you are on conducting uh, interviews, you need to file everything in the personal file, but it indicates that uh, that the advert was not, was not there. And uh, 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 Councillor Sequala uh, 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 didn't uh, uh, declare, never declare to the municipality that her daughter is being employed by Dr. J.S. Moroga, as she was supposed to do that. And the letter was written to Councillor Sequala, but the matter is not yet re resolved. And also appointment of Ms. Of Ms. Sarah Ngwane and Ms. Kovelo Ntuli, the wife of Councillor uh, Councillor Ma 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 Madonzela. Uh, they were also uh, employed. Uh, uh, and uh, and um, it also indicates that um, the, 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 the job, job uh, advertisement and the qualification letter were not in, the, in her personal file, only the CV qualification, ID copy, driver's license were in the, in the, in the, in the file. And the letter was also written and the matter is still not yet uh, resolved. And uh, also the appointment of Ms. Mandega and Ia Maja, the wife of Councillor Ntrayane. And um, uh, the matter is also not resolved uh, 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 as per the letter that was, was uh, written to Councillor Ntrayane. And, uh, the matter of abuse of regulation 32 in terms of appointment of service providers. Uh, 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 the ending is that. Let me see. Oh, no, well, let me see. Just, just hang on. Just wait a bit. I need to talk to members of parliament uh, so that we decide what we do. Honorable okay. members. The presentation that the Honorable MEC is making is very much important. Even though it is long, it is very, very much important. We are scheduled to be in this platform until half past seven. And I'm worried of 
of the time and the pace, notwithstanding the fact that the information itself is very, very much important. I want us to have a very quick discussion so that we decide what we do. There are three possibilities. Is that we allow the MEC to take their time to give us the information uh, and that we next week reconvene again on an agency basis because of the importance of the issues that that the MEC is raising. If the MEC is not going to finish with a presentation, we must have another session next week, specifically on these municipalities. All of these municipalities are important. And if we want to exercise our oversight, fun uh, oversight, oversight function very well, we need to take our time and really understand all of these issues so that we go to the bottom of it. That is the first proposal I'm making that she must finish. She may not take all the municipalities and that next week we reconvene again on an agency basis, finish the, finish the, the municipalities and get more time, more time to, to can have a discussion and go deeper into all these issues that are raising so that we must maximize or optimize our oversight function. The other way is for her to rush, rush, finish, so that we have more time today to engage with the presentation, which I don't think that it is going to be fair. I want us to open a discussion a bit so that in the process we must decide what we need to do because of the nature of the presentation, the number of the municipalities that we are dealing with. Over to you. Just quickly give me the guidance on what uh, we, we, we can do under the circumstances. Honorable Inok Mtetwa. Thanks, Chair. Looking at the report itself, Chair, there are a lot of areas that are still need to be finalized and unfinalized. I thought, Chair, if we can hold it here, it can help us a lot and also allow them to fill up all the gap of the unresolved matters. There are a lot of them, Chair. So it won't help us to discuss a report that is incomplete. Okay, thank you very much. Honorable uh, uh, Zandamela. Yeah, no, thanks, uh, Chair. I'm partly covered by Honorable Retentor. And uh, I think it's uh, proper that if uh, we can get details in some of the things that are not resolved, and perhaps uh, there's few things, but that will deal with it when we engage on the report that uh, I still have to be clarified to the court. Thanks, Chair. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Jefferson. Jefferson, I think in terms of your su suggestion, um, I want to agree that uh, firstly, we should allow the, the MEC to take us through uh, but also, secondly, Chair, we also received this report uh, or the presentation uh, quite late as members, so we didn't necessarily have that luxury of time uh, to thoroughly go through 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 what what has been said. Um, so, Chair, I'm proposing we allow the MEC to take us through, and we allow for one or two questions more broadly of clarity, especially in terms of what is being presented to us. Because I have some concerns about about the information that has been presented, um, okay. and and we we have a, another session. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Yes. Honourable Martha Bartlett. Uh, no, Chair. Comrade Chair covered me. I support this idea, and also for 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 follow up maybe. All right. Thank you very much. Let me see from you from your side. You are at slide number what? Number 84, it is 84 of yes. what, of 95? Yes, Chair, it's, uh, it's let me check. Um, we are now moving to number, number yes, number 84, uh, Chairperson. Um, How many slides are left? Um, Eleven slides, Chair. 
for 11 slides, yes. I suggest yeah. that let no, us allow much. the MEC to finish. And, 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 and we are going to have to reconvene within the next week because all of these issues are very much important. These are horror stories. These are deeper things that members of parliament of this committee must be seized with. We must attend to all of these issues quite comprehensively. Now, my suggestion is that let the MEC finish. If there are gaps, we are going to identify them. But next week, on an agency basis, even if it can be around this time in the evening, we are going to have to spend more time to deal with all these municipalities because just what we are getting here, these allegations, they, they are not only concerning, they've got to be dealt with quite appropriately. Now, all that I'm suggesting is that let us allow her to finish, uh, fill up the gaps and indicate those areas that we need further information. And next week we must call the MEC again to appear before this committee to engage with these municipalities one by one and crunch them quite properly so that we formulate clear recommendations about what needs to happen in respect of these municipalities which were placed under section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act in the Mpumalanga province. Yes, proceed MEC, I got that guidance and I'm happy for your contributions, honorable members. Um, you can proceed and finalize your presentation. Just take your time uh, because we are not going to engage with it comprehensively today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, for your guidance. Uh, it was also so difficult for me to jump some of the things uh, that may be so important for the committee. Um, let me quickly go to allegation number 12, Chairperson, as indicated on the screen about the abuse of uh, regulation number 32 on the appointment of service providers resulting in fictitious invoices being submitted without services being rendered. Were councillors interfering with procurement processes where some service providers have been procured directly by a uh, councillor's uh, chairperson? The findings was that we have noted the statement of the mayor indicating that electrification project uh, of a uh, 3.5 million that was processed through section 32 after permission was granted or to the then acting municipal manager. This was done to avert the situation whereby the municipality was going to, to, to lose grant if not used by the end of, of April. And that there is also no evidence that the project materialized and therefore the allegation was not proven and that the approval by the executive mayor for regulation 32 to be used to procure the service is a non-compliance with paragraph 117 of the municipal finance management act and that Ms. Rampede was negligent in seeking approval from the executive mayor instead of the supply chain uh, unit and that the letter was also written to in terms of the progress was written to the former executive mayor and um, administration executive manager administration and corporate services Ms. Rampede and also chairperson that the the matter is not yet uh, resolved by the municipality. And on the following uh, uh, allegation number 13, in terms of irregularly extension of contract of service provider, and that Matuku Nuga Trading CC was appointed by the director, by Dr. J.S. Uh, Moroka, local municipality, for a fixed term contract of three years from 24 May 2016 at the contract for the contract amount of a uh, ten a uh, uh, million nine hundred and seventy eight thousand six hundred and eight and their contract expired on the thirty first of May uh, twenty nineteen and that Ms. Rampedi, the former executive executive manager in corporate services, was the acting municipal manager from November twenty eighteen to February twenty nineteen and the ICT contract for Matupunuka. Um, Matupunuka was under the Department of Corporate uh, 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 Service. And that a letter was written to the former uh, 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 mayor 
uh, Councillor Turale Madileng, former Executive Manager, Administration and Corporate Service, Mrs. Uh, uh, Ms. Rampedi, and also that the, 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 the finding is not yet uh, 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 resolved. And that the contract Matukunuga is indicated as and when contract, but the assistant manager in ICT indicated to us that Matukunuga was always on site and they were paid a monthly fee uh, of about 300,000 per month. And that Mr. Sindane indicated uh, uh, to us that in June 2019, after the contract of Matupunuka trading CC has expired, Ms. Rampedi gave him the extension letter dated 21 January 2019 while she was an acting municipal manager. And that according to Mr. Sindane, Mrs. Rampedi backdated the extension letter to the period where she was an acting municipal manager and that was a fraudulent extension. And the letter was, was uh, written to the former executive mayor, Councillor Turale Madiling, former executive manager, administration, corporate services, Ms. Rampedi. However, the finding is still not uh, 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 resolved. Uh, 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 and um, on irregular appointment of two security companies currently contracted to municipality, the finding was that um, Matimpule Security Service and CIDA Security Service were appointed to provide physical security to the municipality, although only one tender was advertised in the newspaper. CEDA Security Service is not in the attendance register for the compulsory site meeting, which was held at Habpatla Community Hall on the 15th of October 2015, although the internal audit unit indicated in their uh, pre-evaluation results of tender that CEDAS attended the compulsory briefing, the pre-evaluation report of the internal audit unit has been signed by the chief audit executive of Dr. J.S. Moroka, local municipality, Mr. Spusiso Morare, and the letter was uh, written to, to the former municipal manager, Mr. Gupega, NTG, and the matter is not yet uh, resolved. And also on irregular appointment, yes, that one is continuing. The appointment of CIDA and uh, Matimbule security services were irregular since one tender was advertised but two companies were appointed CEDA security is not in the register um, for, com for compulsory tender briefing multiple security service didn't submit proof of uh, municipal rates and account of company not owing more than 90 days and uh, the matter is still not yet a uh, result uh, 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 percent allegation on rating on the unspent municipal infrastructure grant and service delivery issues the spending of infrastructure grant from july 2019 to december 2019 was zero although the municipal manager indicated to us during our interview uh, uh, with him that it was uh, a at nine percent the letter was also written to mr Kubega. Uh, and the, 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 the matter is not yet uh, 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 resolved. Uh, um, allegation relating to submission of two different budget and IDP document, which is against the law and irregular uh, appointment of staff. On the 3rd of June 2019, the Council approves the final IDP review document 2019-2020 in terms of Section 25, subsection one of the Municipal Systems Act of 2000 with the final review organizational structure, but the municipal manager failed to implement the resolution of the council. Instead, he submitted his own organizational structure. The municipal manager appointed 45 employees at Dr. J.S. Moroka local municipality using organogram not approved by the council. And the, 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 the the, the, the finding is still not yet uh, uh, approved. However, the letter was written to the former uh, municipal manager, Mr. Kubega. 
reinstatement of an official without following recruitment and selection process. Ms. Pumzile Lilian Mlambo, the assistant manager HRD at Dr. J.S. Moroka Local Municipality resigned from her position on the 20th of February, 2019. On the 25th of 2019, Ms. Mlambo retracted her resignation and there was no response from the municipality after her retraction. Although Ms. Mlambo retracted her resignation on the 25th of February, but she resigned her termination from the 28th of February, 2019, which is administered by Sanlam. The reason for termination of service on the form is indicated as resignation, and the exit date is indicated as the 31st of March, 2019. Mr. Kbega, the municipal manager, reappointed Ms. Mlambo without following proper processes as required by Section 83 of the Dr. J.S. Moroka Recruitment and 8.3 Recruitment and Selection Policy. The reappointment of Ms. Mlambo was therefore irregular. The matter still not yet resolved. And uh, an amount of 40 million was spent on the construction of a fresh produce market, which to date remains incomplete. Uh, the contract for DTRO was terminated for non performance. And according to Mr. Matabane from the consultant, the non performance was uh, intentionally on the side of because there were local community members who were demanding money from the director of the company and the director of the company wanted to pull out of the project and that another company called Ria Tlachile was appointed at the budget of 14 million according to Mr. Matabane. The scope of work was revised and more things were added. Ria Tlachile was, no, was also terminated due to non-performance uh, but the non-performance on Riyad Lahile was as a result of a cash flow problem because they were also funding other projects according to, according to Mr. According to Mr. 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 Matabane, uh, the letter was written also to Mr. Vega and the, the municipality has not addressed the the, 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 the issue and um, an amount of 18 million rents for drought relief project was provided to Dr. J.S. Moroka, but some boholes were drilled in houses of employees and councillors of the municipality. Mr. Jeribongo Musa Zita indicated to us that he was appointed by Dr. J.S. local municipality to drill and equip 10 bohole and was allocated uh, 10 million. And um, the total number of, <coughs> of boholes drilled by Dugoma per the invoices provided are 14 and not 15, but the invoice submitted by Dugoma to Fondo Trading Services is for 15 boholes. We inspected the dry bohole at Babedi Farm on the 12th uh, of March 2020, and it is uh, located inside the kettle crawl of Mr. L. E. Babedi, the former executive manager, technical at Dr. J. S. Morocco Municipality. The bohole is not working since no water was found and it was not uh, equipped. Red letters were also written to Councillor Sikwala, uh, Councillor Sekhalakhala, and the former executive manager, Mr. Babedi. Mr. Babedi provided a response in relation to the matter. However, the matter still not yet uh, uh, resolved. Uh, 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 allegation number 20 is that the bidders of the project for the provision of internal audit services were awarded. Companies not uh, recommended by the bid adjudication committee, the validity period of the bids. 
the minutes of the bid adjudication committee indicated that the meeting was held on the 12th of September 2019, whereas the validity period of the contract ended on the 23rd of August 2019, and the municipal manager appointed the bidders on the 27th uh, of September 2019 after expiry of the validity period for the for the for the bid. And there is no profit provided, and the, 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 the matter is not yet uh, resolved. Uh, the last one no price negotiations process undertaken for the project of water treatment chemicals. All bidders quoted different prices, and the municipalities didn't apply paragraph 20, 20, 24, uh, subsection one of the supply chain management policy of Dr. J.S. Moroka uh, to negotiate the prices with the, the appointed bidders. And there is no progress that was submitted. The municipality has not yet uh, resolved uh, the problem. Um, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. That was the last uh, uh, municipality in terms of the, of the findings that we have a, 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 a report in terms of the reports that we have uh, received from the different municipalities since the other three the other one that i've mentioned uh, is still on progress and will be uh, presented uh, to the new after the new council has been established thank you chair uh, thank you very much uh, honorable mec uh, as I pointed out, this presentation was very long, but very much important. And you did try your level best to ensure that you, you stick to the time and give us a very important information that this committee has got an obligation to, to interrogate, to follow, and ensure that it develops appropriate uh, recommendations in terms of what needs to be done to deal with all these matters. As I pointed out, uh, we, based on time and given the fact that this presentation didn't come on time, we are going to request that you be available sometimes next week, immediately after this meeting, I will talk to my team in order to set aside a day in which we are going as a committee going to fully and comprehensively engage with your presentation but the the point that members made is the fact that you need to fill up the gaps in some of the information that is outstanding in terms of some of the information that is missing to ensure that we get a better understanding of the situation in respect of those municipalities. But secondly, to indicate to us when we meet next time, uh, when are we going to receive the outstanding reports from, from other municipalities, from all of the other municipalities, because we want to engage with all these municipalities. Just as a chair of the committee listening to what you're saying. Some of these things are horror movies. They are scary. They are things that are very, very bad. And they speak to how municipalities have collapsed throughout the country, particularly by those who are responsible to ensure that they correct these things. They are authority. They provide leadership to our municipalities. And this that you have just presented to us does indicate that this is very, very bad and it needs to be attended quite appropriately. I'm going to open the floor to, to members if any one of honorable members want to say something. But at the end, I've got a proposal to make in respect of how we are going to deal with this particular issue. So over to you, honorable members. Let me hear from you. Are we in order? Are we in line? Is that okay? Over to you. For your Thank guidance. 
Yes, Honorable yeah. Bartlett. I think yes. I've come up with a proposal. It's what we've already said after this meeting. We'll have a follow-up meeting. Yes. So I think you can come up with a proposal. Yes. I think we've made some proposals about what needs to happen in respect of filling up the information, uh, ensuring that the outstanding information is available. If members are satisfied, uh, that is okay. But for me, honorable member, there is a question that I'm asking myself, and I want to pose it here. Chair, whilst there's we are postponed, Chair, there's a whilst we sorry, honorable officer's hand is up. Oh, honorable Sidek. Yes, over to you. I say honorable officer's hand is up, Chair. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Honorable officer, over to you. Not a problem, Chair. Chair, we, the, the MEC must just give, give us clarification on everything that she says is resolved. How was it resolved? And that that is unresolved, why was it not unresolved? Why is it not resolved yet? What was hampering or what is short of that? Because we cannot let it hang in the air like that. We may have to know the conclusion. Okay. Yes, this is a question that she would have to answer. And Honorable, let me see you've heard that. We need that clarity in terms of identifying and isolating all the issues that were resolved per municipality and all the outstanding issues and the reasons, clear reasons, why are they still outstanding and not resolved? You may not answer that question now, but that question is very much important. It's at the crux of what we want to probe and want to uh, to, to, to follow up in relation to the municipalities that we, that we present. I know members, in the meantime, what do we do? Let me see. Uh, just my, my, my word on these matters. Sure. In your presentation, in respect of the municipalities, most of these allegations affect councillors. And, and the most senior councillors in the municipalities. And clearly from the revelations of your investigations, the councillors are involved. Some of them are even interfering on the tender and adjudication matters. Some of them are even going to extend of appointing uh, 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 companies when they are not uh, allowed to do that in terms of section 117 of the Municipal Finance Management Act. They interfere in that respect. Some of them, according to these reports that we're presenting before us, have given their friends, their fiancés, their families, their kids, even buzzards. And then for me, just looking at that, quite clear that it's contrary to, 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 to the law. What do we do? Some of these councillors are not coming back are not appointed as uh, to serve their municipalities again. And, and one thing that I think this committee must do as part of its recommendations is to request you to go to court in order to stop the municipal pension office via pension funds from paying the pensions of some of, some of, the, of the councillors in these municipalities up until we get to the bottom of this. Because people act with impunity, they utilize the state finances, the municipal finances, contrary to the law, and, and they do that, and, and, and no action is taken against them. And as part of our recommendations, and to show that we are serious about correcting the financial situation in our municipalities, we will have to at some point ask the courts to, to withhold their pensions so that we must find ways of recovering the money that is meant for the people, that is meant for service delivery to the poorest of the poor, that we must stop them and recover those particular monies from them. Because, and, 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 and taking their pensions uh, could be one of those. And this is something that I think when we discuss, we must consider doing and recommending that this has got to be done so that we must stop all of these things perpetuated especially by senior politicians in the municipalities. 
with that honorable members uh, I, I i i think let's end the meeting here uh, on a note that we are going to meet next week i'm sure this evening or tomorrow we will give you the details of our meeting where we are going to deeply interrogate the issues that the MEC has raised to us, municipality per municipality, issue by issue, so that we get to the bottom of this. And I think in my respective view, this will go a long way in strengthening our work as a, commit as a committee uh, in respect of oversight, oversight role that we need to play. Because this time around, we should not let anybody to get away with it uh, especially those people who are investigated in, in terms of Section 1, 106 of the Municipal Systems Act. And also in that respect, uh, uh, determine the role of the law enforcement agencies and, and you know, asking them questions about what do they do to expedite matters that are brought to their attention because it is quite important to, to, to do so. With that, thank you very much, Honorable MEC and your team. For, for responding to our request uh, in terms of uh, sharing this information with us. As I indicated, we are going to request you again to appear in this committee so that we go deeper to the details about uh, the presentation that we made today. With that, thank you very much, honorable members. Uh, the meeting stand agent until we meet again. I think our next meeting is on Friday, where in which we are, we are engaging the, the, the KwaZulu Natal uh, Provincial uh, Department on the same matters pertaining to Section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act. On that note, thank you very much. The meeting stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Chair.